What is up guys? I want to make a very quick video because I think some people have really just no hobbies at all and I think some of you guys really just have some crazy ideas and uh, try to mock other people with it. So today we're looking at a news article which I just thought was very interesting to look at and that is basically that a Netflix star, uh, what's her name, Song Ji, she basically lied or proclaimed the lied about her unboxing on a $5,000 bag. Now the question is, how much of this is true? How much of this is fake? It's always very hard to find out because some of the artificial items out there on the market can look so real, feel real, it could still be fake. You know, they really go over the top at the times. But I just thought, let's just look at the article and see what it was about because I thought it was very, very interesting. Anyway, she did a video online where she started promoting the good. I thought that the video, I looked at it myself, I thought it looked more or less real. I couldn't see anything where I would say, okay, it looks fake. For example, nice that they actually included this screen shot here that they even included you know the wrapper on top of the logos that's quite normal to do i know a friend that owns this bag and i could only say that it just looks one to one the same i couldn't see that it was fake even the leather pattern on top of the leather looks 100% correct. Of course, maybe it feels different, but I'm not there to touch her bag. But the one thing that a lot of you guys mentioned is that the moment you open up the booklet, and it's true, when you buy luxury items, you normally get to register your item to say it's a legitimate item. You know, it's just to say it's not fake. It is her item and she can do what she wants with it. And it's basically just a cool registration system, you know, because it is something special after all. I mean, paying 5,000 euro for a bag, it would be a shame if it just got sold over the counter and no one really cared about it. But these items really do get registered. And that is true. There are some companies, however, that do it with a booklet. Other ones do it actually just over the PC. Now, proclaimantly, there are some people that are complaining that this booklet that she tried to show in her video was more or less not completed. There is something missing in this book. And those are a few things, a stamp, a date of purchase, maybe even the item number because they're all singular items and uh, small things like that can really be picked up quick. However, my entire defense and the only thing that I wanna say here is that we still need to watch out with how she actually got the item. We still have to remember that if she's a celebrity, you get endorsements through these items. You get endorsements through these companies where they might even just give you the bag as a promotional gift to promote the, the, the brand. You know, if you go to any, I don't know, a photo shoot or anything, or you go to an event, it's always nice to show off your brand because it basically is free marketing, if that even makes sense. The one thing that I think is just interesting here is just that it's true, it is missing, but is that enough for people to go all out of the way, make a news article out of it and say, hey, the video is fake. The bag is fake. No, I think this is just so, so stupid. I know there are many YouTubers out there that actually do wear fake stuff, they promote fake stuff, but this I think is not a legit reason to go all the way out because all the signs are right to why I would say the bag is real. It could also be that she just didn't want to register her item because it is going over the shop or over the, I don't know, someone else could have bought it for her. That makes sense as well. And I have been there in the past already where we also went to a luxury store where we could have registered it, but at the end of the day, we decided not to because we said, hey, we want to register it, but we want to register it with the person that is going to receive it, aka it was a Christmas gift. And they said, that's not a problem, just come back with it. And we just left our name on a blank piece of paper, but more or less to say, hey, we're going to come back again to register the item for your system, you know, to make it fair because we don't want to put it on our name. We want to put it to the person who actually owns it. We don't know the origin story to how she actually got the bag in her hands. And I just thought this is really just taken over the top like normal. What I also love about, again, you know, having these kind of companies that take care of you on your business affairs, you always have some sort of CEO or a company that's going to be involved and say, we need to apologize. And it's true, both G and uh, the company that she's working for, I don't know the company's name, they both apologized. And let's just read out the quick note. And this is why I'm trying to say that we don't know how she got the bag. It could have also been just someone from the CEO or someone of the company that was able to get the bag for her. But anyway, let's just read it because I think it was interesting. And that is, G has never tried to appear like a rich person who only buys luxury goods. The company has never tried to make her look rich, uh, make her look like a rich person. G has never tried to introduce fake goods as a real. 
the, the, the translation is a bit weird in all honesty, but currently the videos and photos remaining are all of real goods. We can prove it. I would personally say I can believe it. I don't think a Chanel bag is anything that can destroy them. So I can only say it's real. It's legitimate. And so far, neither Chanel or anyone has made a statement where it is proclaimed as fake. And I just want to say, guys, this is just stupid news. I think people should just mind their own business. In the real world, you know, there are rules that you need to attend. But once you come to a celebrity status, there are things you just need to be able to neglect. And some of these things can be that you don't have to go through this process of signing off the book or having this as a real item. So there could be something that could have happened there. I don't really know. It could also be for security reason. I don't know. But all we know is that it is funny to read some of these news articles because holy crap, it is just unbelievable that people pick up things. You know, it's fair to make a statement, but that it has to become a proper article makes no sense. 